about your medicine held in conjunction with the 48th Malaysia Singapore Congress of Medicine. Let me begin by extending a warm welcome to all distinguished guests, honored speakers, and delegates from all over the world. And I'm happy to see such a good crowd and I'm heartened by the strong interest shown by all of you to share knowledge, ideas, and experiences. I've been made to understand that this meeting is held with the participation of the World Association of Societies of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine, which is an international association which caters for international affairs, representing the pathology at the World Health Organization and plays an important role as the voice of pathology in the global network. I'm very proud to acknowledge that the present president of this organization is her own Malaysian pathologist, the distinguished professor Louis Lai Main. I'm sure that everyone in the meeting today is well aware of the emerging practice of personalized medicine in our lives. Personalized medicine has often been defined as the right treatment for the right person at the right time. It is a medical model that proposes the customization of healthcare using molecular analysis of medical decisions, practices, and products being tailored to the individual patient. Very often, diagnostic testing is employed for selecting appropriate and optimal therapies based on the context of a patient's genetic intent. Just to recapitulate, every person has his own unique variation of the human genome that defines his unique biology, such as DNA, RNA, and proteins. This can be detected by recent advances and techniques in molecular analysis. Molecular techniques such as genome sequencing can detect DNA mutations and other genetic aberrations that may lead to definitive diagnosis of diseases ranging from cystic fibrosis to cancer. Once a condition has been accurately diagnosed, this information can be used to guide treatment decisions and create prevention strategies. The information provided can also be utilized to carry out risk assessments on a patient to identify if a condition has the potential to deteriorate further and for early detection of a condition, thus allowing earlier interventions. Hence, the key attribute of personalized medicine is the development of diagnostic tests, now named, known as companion diagnostic tests. There are endless advantages that personalized medicine offers and as it develops, the way of medical practice will also evolve. Advances in personal medicine will create a more integrated treatment approach specific to the individual and its genome. It offers the hope of better diagnosis with early intervention and more efficient drug development and therapies. One important aspect that requires scrupulous attention in our practice of medicine in Malaysia is the weak and irregular implementation of multidisciplinary team approach in patient care. In order for the practice of good personalized medicine to be successful in Malaysia, the diagnostic test must be developed in parallel with the drug treatment. This can only take place through close cooperation between diagnostic laboratories and clinicians. The emphasis of the Ministry of Health is shifting from merely treating and managing diseases to managing health and well-being as a total entity. This means that we are training our science and health promotion, as well as healthy lifestyles, healthy environments. And later this afternoon, I will deliver the twin doctor Ismail oration entitled Towards the Ministry of Health, where I will elaborate on how we are moving towards achieving that goal of being a ministry that promotes, promotes health rather than just treating diseases. I believe that conferences such as this will allow one to exchange knowledge, thoughts, and insights on exciting developments and can inspire us to further improve standards of care, thereby enabling a better quality of life for all patients. Finally, ladies and gentlemen, it is an opportune time for me, and I'm very glad and proud to declare the official opening of this 2014 International Congress of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine at the 48th Malaysia Singapore Congress of Medicine. And I wish all those who are here today uh, through a fruitful three days of interesting and beneficial program. And for those who have come from places other than Malaysia, I hope you can have a pleasant stay in Kuala Lumpur. 
Once again, I warmly welcome you and declare open the 48th Malaysia Singapore Congress of Medicine and the 2014 International Congress of Pathology and Laboratory Medicine. Thank you very much.